Welcome into a very special episode of Staying in the House, powered by GopherHole.com. I'm Daniel House. And big news hit the Gopher football program last weekend as they received a commitment from South Lake Texas wide receiver Brady Boyd, one of the most explosive and dynamic receivers in the great state of Texas. He held multiple offers from schools like Texas Tech, Oklahoma State, and the Gophers. His final two ultimately came down to Oklahoma State and the Gophers, but he committed this last weekend. And when you fire up his tape, you see a guy that can get vertical separation against some of the top cornerbacks in the state of Texas and the testing metrics around a 4-4-40, a 4-2-2 shuttle at the opening. Those are all verified numbers. And I'm just really excited to be joined by Brady Boyd himself today. Brady, thanks for stopping in. First off, congrats on your commitment. There's been so much fun Thank with you. all the media. I've seen so many people interacting with you. Have you been able to keep up with all the messages you've been receiving? Oh, yeah. it's uh, It's been crazy. Uh, you know, my, my social media has never uh, been going crazy like this before. You know, the the fans have been uh, all over my social media, all over Twitter. You know, let me know how happy they are and excited about my commitment. Like I said, you had multiple offers, including Oklahoma State and Minnesota. That was your final two. At what moment did you know that Minnesota was the right program for you? You know, uh, uh, with Coach Fleck, you know, always being a receiver guy, you know, so I, I, I you know, really relate to him. So, uh, you know, he was always checking on me every day. You know, him or somebody on the staff was always checking on me. And then, uh, you know, I feel like they just really prioritized me and really wanted me. And, you know, and really they just always have a – they have a really great culture. And, uh, you know, that culture just kind of – it's kind of – I kind of, like, magnetized towards that. You know, it's a real family culture, you know. I just, I just kind of felt like it's like a second home up there. In July, you had the chance to come up and participate in a camp, got to show off all that speed. What did you take away from that experience and having the chance to not only see campus but interact with the coaches? You know, uh, that was the first time the coaches were actually able to like, pretty much coach me, you know, kind of work on my technique. You know, I, I like how they uh, pay attention to the little details. You know, Coach Simon, you know, he's a he's a great guy, the head receivers coach, you know, and uh, – just having them going up there, letting them be able to critique me and coach me and seeing what it would actually be like if I were to go there. You know, that, that really, uh, I really liked the way that was. You know, that, that really sold me a little bit. When you look at the Gophers program, the ability to develop wide receiver talent is something that stands out. You see it now with Tyler Johnson, Rashad Bateman, uh, and now yourself coming into this program. How much did the pedigree of developing wide receivers with guys like P.J. Fleck and Matt Simon factor into your decision to choose the Gophers? Yeah, that was a that was a huge factor. You know, uh, they have a great resume of just great receivers that you know they'll they'll take them under their wing and then they'll send them to uh, to the league. Uh, you know, in three or four years. You know, I think that's just something great. You had the opportunity when you were on campus to meet P.J. Fleck for the first time. I know a lot of people talk about that experience. What did you take away from that, and what was your overall impression of P.J. Fleck when you met him for the first time? Well, uh, when I went to go meet him, uh, he brought his uh, wife in the room. So, uh, you know, once I saw that, you know, I thought things were pretty serious. You know, uh, he, he, really, uh, he really wants it to be a family atmosphere, and, like, everything's about family. Like, everyone's in this together. So, you know, like, like that first meeting, I really, I really got that from and understood that. What do you think was the main difference between Minnesota and the other programs that you looked at? What separated them them from others? Uh, I just, I feel like, uh, you know, like I said, uh, with uh, Coach Fleck and the staff really prioritizing me, you know, calling up on me every day, not, not even always asking about recruiting, just you know, see, seeing how I'm doing, seeing what I'm up to, like especially during the times we're in now, you know, just seeing what I'm up to every day. You know, just stuff like that. So, you know, them just uh, really caring about me as an overall person and having a great character instead of just as a player. I think that that really helped a lot. It separated them. You're from Texas and came all the way up to Minnesota. And you're going to get ready for Minnesota winter. It's going to be cold. But what did you think of the campus when you came up? And did you ever think that there was any remote possibility that you'd be interested in playing football at Minnesota? Uh, I mean, before – before I ever got offered by them, I mean, I never, never, like, never crossed my mind even at all. But, I mean, first time I went up to the campus, you know, because they were my first offer. And then first time I went up to the campus, I mean, I just loved it. I could, you know, it's kind of like, it's kind of like Dallas, you know. It's like the big city and they're just outside of it. And, you know, I, I just really liked that. You know, and the campus is beautiful. You know, it's 
great facilities. There's so much stuff to do in Minneapolis. It's just it's just some place you can really live at and just call home. You not only took a visit on campus in person, but she had the chance to do the virtual visit online. What did you think of that digital platform? So uh, it's been a while since I went up to the campus. So doing that, uh, the virtual visit, that really helped me kind of refresh on things. I actually got to see the inside of the uh, dorms because when I went up there, I didn't have time to go in it. So I actually got to see the inside of those dorms. And, you know, all of that stuff just really refreshed me on uh, what Minnesota is all about, you know, and just – you know, kind of like going up there without without leaving your room. When I watch your film, I see your ability to get separation, all the speed that you possess. What are a few things that you pride yourself on when you step out on the field? Uh, I feel like my I really want to take pride in my route running. You know, I, I just really want it to be like, no matter how fast, somebody could be faster than me, stronger than me. But, you know, if, if you're running crisp and right routes, you know, that – That'll get you separation, no matter how fast or how strong you are. How how much do you focus on different training methods? Like, what are you doing to prepare yourself for the next level, and, and who do you work with to develop those skills, like your route running, and not only that, but your speed training? So uh, I work with a trainer. His name is uh, David Robinson or D Rob on social medias. He's the uh, he's the trainer that's been training uh, Des Bryant, and he's been training a bunch of pro receivers. You know, a bunch of college receivers. He's preparing Jared Judy and uh, players like that for the NFL Combine. But, you know, training with him, you know, he doesn't really care about the little high school things. He's trying to prepare you for college and beyond, you know. So that really – I think that's what really helped me take my routes and my uh, receiver skills to the next level. Now, you have a little bit of time before you come up here, another full year of, of playing football. What are some things that you want to improve over the course of the next year before you get to Minnesota? You know, I, I really want to improve my uh, my deep ball catching. You know, like I know I can go up and go go up over, like go over top. But you no, know, really being able to track the ball and like get those concept, uh, contested catches uh, deep. You're an excellent track athlete too. Two hundred meters and relay teams. How has this COVID nineteen pandemic not only impacted your your current academic? work and the virtual stuff that you have to do there but your track season yeah so uh we only got to do two track meets and then after that they canceled it all but you know i, I felt uh, pretty good during track season I, I was really enjoying it you know getting better getting better at my 200 and uh four by two every week you know slowly improving that but it was uh it's just sad that uh we didn't get to finish it out what types of skills do you think that you took away from track that you could that you've applied on the football field I think uh, I think that helped increase my uh, top end speed. You know, uh, not really the acceleration part, but you know, really working on that top end speed during track, and always just trying to strengthen the legs and just getting faster overall. So last season, you finished with sixty six receptions for nine hundred sixty nine yards and eight touchdowns. Your team finished thirteen and one, one of the top programs in the state of Texas. How do you think your program has developed such consistency over the course of the last few years? It, it's really the tradition at this high school, you know. I mean, I I don't think there's any other high school like it, you know. The it's it's really like a a college type feel, you know. Everyone's for one goal, you know. Nobody's individualized, you know. They only want one that's to win, win a state championship. And I think the tradition at this school is just amazing, and it just keeps everybody just wanting to work and be better than the year before. That's one thing I'm really interested in because you see how big of a deal Texas football is. When high school lights come on on Friday nights, it, it seems like it's a tradition down there. How much did your community rally around the football program? Uh, you know, this our our uh, school and community, they, uh, it's crazy. They, they pop out to every football game. Like our uh, game against Duncanville, our uh, last game, it was probably one of the – I've never seen stands back like that in a high school game. It was insane. You know, they, they follow us everywhere they travel. It's it's awesome. I watch your film, and I see your best game coming against some of the best competition. You look at a game against Midland Lee in the state regional semifinals. Your team won 49-27. You had nine catches for 169 and a touchdown. What do you remember about that game? Uh, I, I remember uh, I remember their coach, uh, the other team's coach, was uh, – he was saying that they that they uh that we couldn't play West Texas football or something like that. So our coach and he got the team pretty fired up. So uh, everybody was pretty fired up going into that game. 
And then uh, I remember just going on the field and everything started clicking for our offense. You know, I, I don't even think we played uh, the second half. Like, uh, everything was clicking in that first half. So you're getting ready to enter your senior year. You've had a chance to really build your career. What excites you the most about entering your final season of high school football? You know, I'm I'm excited to uh, you know see what this South Lake Carroll team can do and uh, see see what we can do with uh, Quinn Ewers at quarterback. You know, uh, having him at quarterback, we can always do something special. So you know, I'm not really looking for any individualized records or anything. You know, I'm just looking for us to make a run in the playoffs and hopefully get to that state game. You mentioned Quinn Ewers, uh, one of the top quarterbacks in the nation. You have the chance to work with him on a day-to-day basis. How much chemistry have you developed with him, and in what ways have you each helped grow your games together? Oh, yeah. During this uh, quarantine, you know, we, we I've been going up to throw with uh, Quinn and a couple of the other receivers. And, uh, you know, chemistry is everything. When I first got here, you know, uh, we, we would uh, not connect on some of the deep balls and some of the, some of the timing plays. But, uh, you know, over time, building that chemistry – he can really feel you out, and like, he really know, gets to know his receivers and knows the speed and knows where to put the ball and what they're capable of. Have you showed him Minneapolis? Have you started the, the recruiting pitch at all, trying to get him interested in, in the campus and, and Minnesota's program? Oh, yeah, I, I've let him know. I've let him know. He's always welcome to come up with me anytime he wants. What do you What do you remember the most about growing up playing football? Is there a certain memorable memory that you have that oh, it's always going to stick with you? Uh, I remember in uh, second grade, I was playing uh, flag football, and uh, my brother was on a tackle football team, and they had like their big pee wee or- organization, like all the way down to second grade tackle football. And I remember they didn't have enough kids on their team, and I was begging my mom to let me play tackle football, and then because uh, she wasn't gonna let me play till sixth grade, so I thought it was too late. And then uh, eventually, I was able to beg her, and she let me play tackle football in second grade, and then you know, I've been playing ever since then. And it seems like that passion really carries over when you watch when I watch your tape and see all the things that you've done in your career. Rapid fire time, Brady. It's time to dive into some of the things that fans want to know about you. The all first right. question is, favorite athlete of all time? Uh, I'd have to say Randy Moss. That fits well coming up to Minnesota. Oh, yeah. He's, God, he's the GOAT, in my opinion. Which song is on repeat right now for you during quarantine? Ooh, uh, Speed It Up by Gunna. Which well, which person would you choose if you had to be quarantined with someone, living or dead, famous person, who would you pick? Uh, LeBron James. And why is that? Uh, because, I mean, obviously he's a great basketball player and all of that, you know, because I'm really big into basketball too, you know, I love basketball. So, uh, I don't know. I think he's the I think he's the greatest of all time. So I don't want to talk to him and what he thinks about basketball. And you know he has a good uh, overall perspective about just life in general. So you know, I just want to talk to him and see see what he's been up to. You know his entire life. See what it's been like to be in his shoes. Who's been the most impactful person in your life? Uh, definitely my parents. You know my dad being a high school football coach. You know he he's always uh, grown me up. You know. Uh, Loving football, doing it the right way, and then my mom's always been there, taking me everywhere, uh, being there for me, supporting everything I do. So, uh, definitely them two for sure. Which player do you study the most at your specific position? Uh, I study a lot of players. I've been looking at Jerry Judy's uh, route running recently, and then I've also been uh, I've been watching a lot of Devonte Adams and Stephon Diggs and their uh, press releases. What do you think are some of the, the things that they do really well? You mentioned press releases, but like, what do you think are some of the traits that you want to add to your game? They uh they they know how to set up their corner. So like, say they they're going to back to the inside, so they'll set up the corner and they'll just set them up to where there's no other possible way like that you can go than outside, and then they'll break them off and go inside. So I mean, they just set up the corner so good, and they just know uh. It's like a mind game, you know. They just kind of set them up, and they can just blow by them in, in an instant. I can imagine you've already had some detailed route running conversations with Matt Simon and PJ Fly, because every time we talk about route running with those two, they're always getting fired up. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. I've had multiple conversations with them. I, I enjoy talking talking with them about routes and uh, route combos and just working on them. It's it's really fun. Do you have a specific academic interest that you want to pursue at the U of M, or aren't you quite sure yet? 
Uh, I, I'm undecided. I'm not quite sure. Uh, I have not thought that far. What is one unique fun fact that people might not know about you? Uh, I, I do not know. Um, I don't know. I'm pretty open book. I feel like everyone kind of knows everything. I'm trying to think. Uh, I'm a big sneakerhead. That's one thing. I like a bunch of shoes. What's your favorite pair? Uh, probably a uh, pair of off-white uh, Nike Prestos. Those are uh, nice shoes. That's another thing you can connect with your coach about is the oh, Nike, yeah. man. He, he's know. all about the Nikes. Oh, yeah, yeah. In Coach Fleck's office, he has, a, he has over like 200 pairs of shoes, it looks like. Just all in these cases, all these crazy-looking shoes. It's all awesome. right. You're ready to share some recommendations and, and get different feedback from him on which shoes you should buy. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to have to check in with him and see, see if we can go shoe shopping or something. Last rapid-fire question for you. One word to describe PJ Fleck and you can't use a lead. Oh, that's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> uh, uh, I would just say uh, motivational. You know, everything he does, he's always doing everything with purpose. You know, he's always... Bringing people with him, he's never doing anything for self-interest. I feel like you know everything is for him, for his family, you know, and just everything he does is real motivational. You know, he's a great speaker. He knows how to bring the best out of people. You know, he's just a great overall person. How excited are you about that culture? Because it's so unique. Everything, every aspect of it has meaning, and it not only transcends on the football field but into the community. How excited are you about that culture? I'm really excited. That's another reason why I committed. You know, I was just, I was just ready to go ahead and just start building that relationship and just focus on one school that I that I knew that was the one for me. And you know, I'm really excited for this. Brady, thanks for stopping by. Best of luck during yep. your senior season. We'll see you up in Minneapolis soon. I'm sure you're really excited to get up and, and meet the Minnesota fans. Thanks to Brady Boyd for joining today's show. As a reminder, you can like and subscribe to Gopher Hole on YouTube. It's free, and it really helps us out. So if you can take some time to just simply subscribe, that would be awesome. You can follow me on social media, at Daniel House NFL, for all the latest content. Go for football, go for basketball, the Vikings. NFL Draft is coming up, so please take some time to go over. Subscribe on YouTube, follow us on Twitter, uh, follow me on social media, at Daniel House NFL. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you guys next time.